this is not just chilling, but it's raining. He had been pub. Um, it says that um, Vindman's oust uh, inside Vindman's ouster amid fears of further retaliation by 45. He <coughs> he had been publicly vilified by 45. Marched out of his national security office across from the White House. Um, so Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Brimman wanted only to get his mind off politics as he settled in to watch a television show with his grade school grade school age daughter by fr Friday evening. Then his wife returned home with some news much of the country had just watched as former Vice President Joe Biden implored the audience to give a standing ovation in Vindman's honor at the nationally televised Democratic presidential debate in Manchester, um, New Hampshire. Stunned up and clapped for Vindman. That, that's not who we are. We're not what 45 is. Biden thundered in the name of the Army Officer 145 had, out, had hours earlier ousted from the White House National Security Council in retaliation for his testimony in the, White House, um, Democrat, in the, in the House Democrats' impeachment probe. To, to Vindman, the gesture was appreciated, but it felt surreal that he has become a lightning rod for the nation's sharp political polarization in the 45 era. According to a person familiar with the events surrounding his ouster, who spoke on the condition of anonymity for fear of retribution. After all, as a military officer, Vindman had been trained to avoid overt, dis o overt displays of a partisanship or politics. Yet, if Vindman was hoping to move past his removal, the squatter had other ideals. On Saturday, 45 escalated his public attacks on puning Vindman as very insubordinate. The attacks came as part of 45's purge of key figures who testified in the Ukraine impeachment saga, which has sent a chill throughout the federal bureaucracy with other career officials fearful of retaliation. In a pair of tweets, 45 asserted he has never met Vindman, but, but bullshit, because he's been pictured with him, but cast him as a rogue under, underling at the, at the um, N NCS who undermined his superiors, even though even though a lawyer for Vindman said he received exemplary reviews during, the, his, during his White House service. Binman was very insubordinate, reported concepts of my perfect calls incorrectly, and was given a horrendous report by superior, the man he reported to. Technically, that call was not fucking perfect, as 45 likes to claim it was. And, um, 45 wrote, referring to phone conversations with the Ukrainian, um, words that were central on their patriot injury, in other words, out. 45's attack came as Binman spent the day at his home in Northern Virginia, overseeing a birthday party for his daughter. The squatter's denunciation, as an ugly coda to the months-long political crossfire after Binman's dramatic testimony in the patriot hearings. On Friday, Binman was escorted out of his third-floor office at the Eisenhower Executive Office building, the first dramatic step by the squatter to an act payback against those he felt betrayed him during the House impeachment investigation. 45 simultaneous ousting of Binman's twin brother, Yevgeny, a chief exec, a chief uh, ethics officer at the, um, uh, chief ethics lawyer, sorry, at the, at the NSC, who did not testify in the impeachment probe and recalled, and recalled Gordon Sondland, a 45 campaign donor who served as U.S. ambassador to the European Union. Sondland had testified that the squatter sought a quid pro quo in trying U.S. In, in tying U.S. foreign aid to Ukrainian, um, Ukraine's president launching an investigation of Biden. Alexander Vindman's lawyer, Michael Volkov, responded to 45 on Saturday by emphasizing that Vindman will land at a good spot at the Pentagon where he will be assigned until July 1st when he is to begin a new posting at the at the Army War College. Clearly, the Army has not participated in the squatter's desire to retaliate, he said. But beyond the Binman brothers, career officials and political appointees who had testified in Ukraine hearings remained worried about their future under a squatter who has emerged emboldened from the Republican-controlled Senate's vote to quit him on both impeachment charges, abuse of power, and obstruction of Congress, and eager to punish those he believes have betrayed him. There are doubts among officials at the State, at the State Department and the Pentagon about whether their bosses would protect them if 45 broadens his purge. Both Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Defense Secretary Mark, Mark T. Esper have been careful not to break with the squatter during the Ukraine crisis. Pompeo, in particular, has lashed out at reports who have asked at reporters who have asked him about his refusal to defend Maria Anonovich, the former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. You look around and you see the adverse actions taken against people who testified under subpoena, and it creates a real, a real air of uncertainty. Said a lawyer for one of the witnesses who spoke on the condition um, of anonymity for fear of retribution from the White House on Saturday. Neither of the two current State, De State Department officials who testified, David Holmes, a foreign, C a foreign service officer at the U.S. Embassy, embassy in Kiev, and George Kent, a career official who served as Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for European and, and Eurasian Affairs, had been notified for, of any change in their employment. People familiar with both cases said, <coughs> 45's personal insecurities and vindictiveness are making um, our, nation, our nation less secure, said Senator Jack Reed, who's a Democrat from Rhode Island, said in a statement, the, the squatter's impetitive action signal he won't tolerate people who tell the truth. 
Um, White House aides had sought to frame the Vindman brothers, Elston, as part of, of a broader downsizing of the N N NSC that has been taking place for more than a year. National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien has said he intends to pair the agency from a, from a peak of more than 200 staff members, many of Walmart career officials detailed from the Pentagon, State Department, and other agencies to about 100, mostly through, um, mostly through attrition. But, but the actions against the Binman brothers and Sondland just a day after the Scott marked his acquittal with an angry speech in the White House's East Room led 45's critics to dub it the Friday Night Massacre, a replay of the Saturday Night Massacre when Richard Nixon forced out several senior, senior Justice Department officials during the Watergate scandal in 73. Every career official will tell you it's not just chilling but frightening, said Fernando Cutts, who served at, on the NSC as a senior advisor to then National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster before they left, both left in 2018. You're, you're seeing things happening in an unprecedented way that even Nixon didn't do. The broader message to career officials is that you can't speak up, and if, and if you see something illegal, something unethical, you can't say, speak. That's the message the squatter wants to send. In recent weeks, the Vindman brothers began clearing out personal effects from their NSC offices, concerned that they might be suddenly ousted and not given a chance to collect their belongings. Associates said the White House made clear that the Vindman brothers were to be isolated even as they continued to report to work. On Ukraine policy... Alexander Bindman was sidelined, said Cuts, who keeps in touch with staffers who are still serving. He has he hasn't been playing a key role. He had um he had not been in the room. White House officials instructed the NSA staff to bypass Yevgeny um Bindman on ethics matters and take question and take questions directly to the White House Counsel Office. Um, Cuts said Alexander Bindman informed his superiors at the NSC and in the Army that he wished to leave his White House job at the next rotation opportunity, which would have meant departing by the end of this month. 45 ensured that there would be no quiet departure for Bindman, whose name he often spoke and seethed in the mocking tones. White House aides said the squatter's anger stems from his belief that Bindman passed along with Ukrainian President Zel um, Zelensky to another government official, who ultimately came forward as an anonymous whistleblower to report 45's call as inappropriate. 45 has denied any wrongdoing, as he always does, and, s and said he was trying to pressure Zelensky to do more to clean up corruption in his, in his country. Bullshit! Of all those who testified in the White House, in the House investigation, 45 was most determined to punish Vindman and the aides said, and he wanted to do it Wednesday after the Senate voted to acquit him, but the aides persuaded the squatter to delay the action in hopes of enjoying positive news coverage over the acquittal, which basically didn't get didn't get very many views on that one and positive results on that one either. Robert Spaulding, a retired Air Force general who was ousted from his job at the NSC in early 2018 after his memo arguing for a government takeover of the 5G industry was leaked, defended 45's action. Spaulding said the NSC is currently is, is inherently a politicized job. It doesn't matter what the reasoning is, Spaulding said. Of course, the squatter has every right. No, he doesn't. It's his NSC, it's his personal staff, but he doesn't have the right to ouster them like he did. Vindman's final days on 45's staff ended when a security officer and the NSC's senior director for personal management showed up at his office door and escorted him downstairs to an exit from the White House grounds on 17th Street, according to the person familiar with this thinking. It was there that he encountered his brother, who arrived moments later. Um, <clears throat> the two um, the two were prepared, having brought NSC computers and other items from their homes to turn in, and for a plain, for a plain close security, office, security officials followed them to a nearby parking lot to retrieve those items, the person said. The twin brothers commuted to their separate homes in suburban Virginia, just a block away from one another in a final carpool. Yep.